Hello people, I know it's been a bit of a while since I've done the last video, but work and what have you. But, the exciting news. Look what I got! Ha ha ha! Cruise control. Now we're going to try and fit it. This will be fun. But today I have the assistance of Thing from the Adams family, as in a hand, that belongs to someone, hopefully. Anyway, let's see if we can get on with this. So if I pass it over to the hand, then you can see what I'm doing, okay? okay? First off, this groove is where you have to put, I've used a small Allen key or any long thing that goes in, same on there. You basically have to pull it up, pull the rubber up, get out of that out of the way. It can be a little fiddly to get it in, that's what she said. Oh, you smooch. Get it in there. Why ain't it working now? I think everyone has trouble with this thing. Can't even see it. Ah, oh, there it is. Okay. It's a bit of a wiggle, but once it's in, you push it all the way in, and the old one pops out, like so. And the simpler reverse is you just push it in. The new one goes into the hole, like so. There we go, and that's in there. That is the physical install. So, everything still works. Okay, so now we have to do the opcom bit, which is always the fun. Right, so the things you need to enable for cruise control are in three different locations. First off, you go to the engine, you go to your Pacific engine, for it to load, you then go programming program high I believe it is no nope, I'm in correction program variant configuration that's the one right now if you have a look cruise control I've already done it so it's present but you have to select that to present and program coding that's the first one The second one is the uh, basically the, the the CMI module, which is the steering column module. That has to be told that the stalk is there, otherwise it won't do anything with it. So again, programming, uh, variant configuration, put in your code. And then, yep, again, cruise control, you set it to present. And back out again. And finally, the ICP ECU, so basically the instrument cluster, to basically just tell the light that it's going to come on and off. So that again, as you know, for configuration, program variant configuration, code again. And now it's playing silly buggers. But anyway, yeah, it's the same as the other two. It's in there, you just have to select it. And then, all well and good, that should like enable you to have cruise control. One little thing is, if you don't have the clutch switch, you do need to retrofit it. And I mentioned it in my other videos. One of the, I got something slightly wrong because in one of the videos when I installed the rain sensor wiring, I think it was, I said that the clutch switch goes into pin number one, which is on the top block 
in the Underhood Electrical Center. It does, but I believe that's actually just the power for it because you also, you basically have to run a lead from the clutch switch to pin 27 in the EC, in the Underhood Electrical Center. And that one is actually located on the, as you look at the electrical center, the right hand side bottom cluster, it's in there. If you if you look at the bottom of the module, you'll see all the numbers and you just, you basically, you splice it into that line. Because from what I can gather, that lot, that 27 is, basically goes to the C1 connector, which is, the main connector that comes into the passenger compartment from the engine bay it would then go from there to the clutch switch well obviously if you don't have the clutch switch or the clutch switch wiring it only goes as far as that junction bolts so what you're basically doing is you're cutting into that wire and then running completing the circuit and the other side of the clutch switch you have to connect to a 12 volt I've got one here, you can use the one under the lighter if you need to, but that's basically how you get it working. My theory is with the pin number one, is that that gives you the voltage, if you connect that and pin 27, it gives you the circuit. But when I did the volt test, voltmeter test on that pin number one, it came up 0 0.10 volts. Now to me that seems a little low. So, from the literature I found online, I just went for the 12 volt, and it worked fine. It now shows active and inactive when you push your foot down on the clutch. Cruise control now works. So, all well and good. But I just thought I'd add that in, because if people need to, that's how you do it. Okay, I'll say bye for now.